welcome back to my channel. I am back in LA. I was in San Francisco this weekend and I am officially filming in my new apartment. I look really pale here because I'm trying out doing my makeup every day this week and uh, thinking that I'm looking a little pale, but that's okay. Might have done a little bit too much bronzer last week. Before I get into it, make sure to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. I think that's what people on YouTube say. I don't know, still getting used to the YouTube thing. Anywho, I am about to head to Disney for an interview. I hope you guys have been loving, loving Fearless Every Day that premieres Fridays at 9 p.m. Uh, Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Sundays, Pacific Standard Time. But I get a lot of questions all the time about quote unquote like how to hustle. And I know that sounds really weird, but I mean hustling like how to get up every day, how to work really hard, how to email a bunch of places, like if you're running your own company or not. And I'm gonna film a podcast episode over the next few weeks on this because I feel like I have a lot to say. But I don't really know where to start. I would say number one, if you're comparing yourself to me, don't. I've always been like, I'm just super type A and that's why I like have so, like I can be so high, I can be so happy and that's why then sometimes I can have like a really bad low is I just have a hard time balancing, um, like being so on the go all the time, being so like kind of passionate and like, just, I just can't stop um, and sometimes I wish I could stop I'd have to like train myself to stop but I think if you're wondering like why can't I get up every day passionate about something or why haven't I figured out what I want to do yet don't get frustrated you need to go out you need to see the world you need to learn and from there you will find something and if you find something or you want to start your own company and you just don't know what the first step is the number one thing I would do is just write down a list every day of something you could do that will just like make you inspired. So whether that's trying a new food, whether that's like going to a new store, it doesn't have to be something crazy or outside of the box. But once you find your mission, once you find your like your purpose, I'm really like big into finding your purpose because I think that once you find your purpose, you figure out really what you want to do. It'll get you a lot more in the groove of like waking up every day of doing something that stays consistent. And I think that when you run your own company, like for example for me it's all on me so like I have to pay all my bills I have to pay my rent I have to finance my life I have to uh, make sure I can get my friends birthday presents and make sure I can fly and see my parents if they need me or my my nephew and like stuff like that and having that in the back of my mind all the time really pushes me to work really hard because obviously the more that I work the more money that I make to be able to like live and do cool stuff and inspire you guys but more so even if I wasn't making money I do so many different projects that I do completely unpaid just because my heart in them especially the school talks that I do a lot of like inner city places but to be able to fund those I have to get up every morning and work a lot of hours and stay mentally sane and go to the gym and like do stuff that keeps me put together so just knowing that in the back of my mind so I would say that if you have parents who are like financing your life or you have a lot of like money that's coming in and you don't have to work for it maybe it's a good idea to like step back see what it would be like to have to try on your own to have to you know pay for everything on your own because it's not easy and the more that you have to work to like do what you want to do the more I think like it just becomes second nature for you to like put a lot of effort in um and then I think it comes like also if you if you find yourself not having a lot of ideas not being really inspired then why don't you try and take a class like do something that you would totally hate for example like this week I'm gonna learn how to dance and I hate dancing. Besides my like occasional dance gym class that I go to, I don't know how to do it. But I know that maybe in the class I'm gonna meet somebody cool or I'm gonna learn something about myself. And then I'll just, you just kind of find yourself a little bit more with every opportunity that you try out. I use my hands way too often as you can tell. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that really answers that question properly, but I've been getting a lot of messages lately specifically being like, I wish I could hustle like you do or like, I wish I could like put as much time into things as you do and I don't know it's just a part of me but I think anybody can make it a part of themselves you just have to find something that you're really passionate about and once you do then you'll want to work for it you'll want to I'm not somebody who can settle so I think once I get to a certain step once I get to a certain level level I want more and you sometimes people I know have to kind of switch their brains to think like that like I know everybody doesn't think like that 
But just think of this world as it's like your oyster, right? So you can do anything you want in the entire world. This world can be whatever you want it to be. You can make such an impact or you can make no impact. So I hope if you're watching this, you wanna make an impact. And because of that, you have to find your purpose and then make an impact from there, which means putting a lot of work in. Like people don't become successful overnight. It's not how it's supposed to be. And it takes time and it takes effort and it takes thought and some days you're gonna have really bad days and slow days and some days you're gonna have really fast good days and try and find a balance in between there so i hope that helps i'll have a podcast episode that will come out in a few weeks on that topic and explain a little bit more about kind of how i got into this as well as what it means for me to put so much time into certain things and then maybe not have time for other things so make sure to follow me on social media at, at Alexa underscore Curtis. Check out This Is Life Unfiltered, which is my podcast that airs every Wednesday at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or actually 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I don't know. It might be Eastern Standard Time. And then Fearless Every Day, which airs every Friday on Radio Disney. Bye, guys. <laughs>